Chow naman ako na yung mga beef noodles. Hola internet! It's me, Loka Yaj. And welcome back. We have another video. And this video is about Taiwan. Is it cheap to travel to Taiwan? Is it affordable? Or is it expensive? But before we continue, let me say thank you to all of my subscribers and to all the people who watched my previous video. Thank you so much. Let's start! I love you, baby. Welcome to Taiwan! Pasulod na rin sa CCU. Kanina job ko, balag wala ko'y panunglad. The first floor. Last year, my sister passed the licensure examination for teachers, so I think it's a good gesture to invite her to join me on a trip to Taiwan. The goal of my video is to give you a breakdown of our daily expenses for 3 nights and 4 days. And this will help you how much should be your pocket money after you purchased your major expenses. Major expenses means your airfare, your hotel accommodation, and your tour packages. The first item is the airfare, the plane ticket. I chose Air Asia because it has more flights from the Philippines to Taiwan. And our airfare ticket, 5920 Next, accommodation. We have one night in Chai and two nights in Taipei. Our first night in Chai was booked through Booking.com and the price of the hotel was 1398 Me and my sister divided, so the price per person is 699 for one night. Next accommodation was a hotel in um, Ximindeng, Taipei. And the name of the hotel is Art Inn. Our two nights was 3,362.41 set. We divided again. Uh, the price per person is 1,681.21 cents. Next is the pocket router. I booked the pocket router from Clue and the price for four days was 336. Remember the video that I said na dato ang Clue? Actually, it has its perks. Clue has Clue credits and I was able to use it to purchase this pocket router. They gave me a discount of 160 pesos and 70 cents. So that means my four days rental of this pocket router was only 175 pesos and 30 cents. Next, we went to Taipei 101. The entrance of Taipei 101 was 680 per person. And they gave us a souvenir. It's a limited edition Taipei 101 tin can that comes with a uh, limited edition Coke with the label of Taipei 101. Next would be the Ami Tea House. In Ami Tea House, you will learn how to make tea, specifically the Ulong Tea. And the attendant there will also teach you on how you do the whole tea ceremony. So that is a good experience and highly recommended. Next, we got the Taipei Transport Fun Pass. We got this one day unlimited pass that we can use to all of the mode of transportation in Taiwan going to all of the major tourist spots. So the price of this is only 305 pesos. Next, me and my sister did a DIY meter garden tour. We need a THSR pass. So that is the Taiwan High Speed Railway Pass. We got the three day THSR one. And the price of this is 3,000. 564. Yes, it's expensive, but this three day pass you can go anywhere in Taiwan from north New Taipei up until Kaohsiung. Our initial plan is to go to Kaohsiung, but because of our limited days in Taiwan, we decided to do the meteor garden and visit the National Chungcheng University, aka Yimi University, in the East Novella Meteor Garden. So we already have the major expenses, your airfare, your accommodation, your tours, and our Taiwan High Speed Rail Pass. So the total of that so far is 13807 Now, let's go to day one. Day one in Taiwan was officially our DIY Meteor Garden Tour. So most of the expenses here are primarily transportation, snacks, and food. From the airport, we need to transfer to Taiwan THSR train station. And the fare for that from the airport 
plus 95 pesos only. While we're waiting for our train, we bought a snacks that we can bring inside the train because the travel time was two hours and a half. When we arrived in Chai, we decided to grab a taxi to go to the university. So the price of the taxi one way was 950 and since me and my sister divided the cost, that is 475 per person. And it's also the same price from the NCCU to our hotel. So if you decided to do a meet your garden tour on your own, please prepare one five or maybe 2000 for taxi fare. When we arrived in the hotel, we just left all the bags and then we went out to look for food. There was no convenience store around the area and since this is a province, everything closed early. But there was a teppanyaki restaurant. When one waitress approached us, the first thing they said is the disclaimer. No English. It's sign language and points. Sign for the menu and then point. That's the system. Whatever happened or however the language barrier is, we were able to order food. There was food on our table from soup to weird looking food. One of the waitress grabbed me and showed me to an area where the meats are. I was confused. But then when I looked at the arrangement of all the meats, we ordered unlimited. Not that I'm complaining, but we're just scared. How much are we spending? When the receipt came in, we ordered a total of 1,200 and limited uh, food. So, 600 per person. The good thing is, we were able to eat and we can now go back to sleep. Day 2 itinerary was Alishan Forest and Taicho. We chose Alishan Forest because when I research, we should be able to see cherry blossom some now when we wake up our breakfast is always coffee or milk tea and bread from convenience store then we took a taxi from our hotel to the addition bus terminal it was 150 pesos per person only bus to the addition forest was 420 pesos and when you arrive there you will pay 400 pesos entrance we were carrying a lot of bags, so we decided to get a locker. The locker was good for 3 hours, and the price is 220 pesos. And since we are not hikers, we decided to take the Forest Railway for 200 pesos. After our Alishan adventure, we decided to go to Patreon. Another bus fare from Alishan to the Chai THSR station was 420. From the train station to the painted animation lane and the round trip price of our taxi was 1500 we did not stay long there we just took some pictures and then we went back to the train station and head to taipei an hour and a half also from taichung to taipei when we arrived in taipei we were so hungry because it's also it's already dinner so we grabbed some snack milk and bread again for 300 pesos. When we arrive in the train station, we need to ride a different train to go to Shimindeng. Shimindeng is like the Myeongdong of Korea. So the price of the train ticket was 170 pesos per person only. Then we check into our hotel. After we checked in, we left our bag. We went back to the Shimindeng night market and then we purchased our dinner. Chicken nuggets, milk tea again, 7-Eleven meal, of course. Uh, and some bottled water so it cost us 500 per person so our day two trip from chai taichung until taipei was 4530 day three was the day where we can use our taipei transport compass we used the the pass from Shimindeng to Shanghai Shakimura. So we woke up early like 5 a.m. and we arrived there like almost 6 a.m. and we have the place almost to ourselves. There's few people, no tourists yet. So it was a good experience. We were able to take good pictures of the whole memorial without a lot of people, just few people. If you want to get good pictures of the Shanghai Shek, like early. So from Shanghai Shek, we traveled to Juven via Rufat. The cost of this travel was supposed to be 190 pesos, but since we have the pass, it's free. And then we arrived in Jufen Old Street, and we walked that famous um, market, the Jufen Old Street. And then we went to the Amity House, and then we did the whole Oolong tea making. 
in the Amity House, they will teach you on how to make the oolong tea and how to make the whole ceremony. After the tea making, me and my sister enjoy the Jufen Old Street and then we found again tea. We bought again milk tea, fruit tea, and then snacks again. Wala bang good vinagrize, mga zigimig snack. And by the way, our expense for the milk tea is too much. But it's a land of milk tea. Why not? I was able to taste the real one. And after we were drinking milk tea, I saw an iced coffee station. Iced coffee in the sun. Love And now we took the bus and then train from Jufen to Shifen. One and a half hour ride and the price was 115 pesos. Since we have the fun pass, it's free. And then me and my sister got the Sky Lantern four colors and the lantern was 400 pesos now when me and my sister was like writing the lanterns like this is a good experience that we're writing something on a lantern and we're, we're gonna burn it later is this in is this the whole 400 pesos or oh, like a sort of a complaint but then the owner of that place took our camera and said that he will take the picture and he took the picture very professional okay another side another side another pose okay i will make video ready let go i will show you how we made it here ready one two three they go He's so professional, he knew how to do it. It was really nice. He really captured from uh, me and my sister flying it up until the sky. So, I didn't complain with the 400 pesos. I, I said to myself, it's too lit. So, if you get the 400 multicolors sky lantern, it comes with your photographer and videographer. So, don't complain, okay? I stopped in this very small Carinderia place. And then I saw the person making the noodles, so I stopped and watched the person. And then I asked how much was that? Of course, language barrier just gave me the menu right away. When I look at the menu, it says beef noodle soup. So I got a spicy beef noodle soup. So when I saw the noodles, it's in a very big bowl. And didn't expect. it was the first time that I ate a fresh noodle. First time to have a real beef and a beef noodle. We chow them on a beef noodles. Now I understand why people like fresh pasta. After we ate from Sheep and we went back to uh, Taipei and we went to Taipei 101. The cost from Sheep and to Taipei 101 was 243 pesos. But since we have fun pass, it's free again. After Taipei 101, we went back home. Put our things, settings that we bought from different places, and then we went back to the human thing by tree. We went to the night market. We bought our favorite chicken nuggets, milk tea, another milk tea, iced coffee, 7 Eleven meal. It cost us 500 each. That's how we eat. So our daily expense was a total of 1,400 pesos per person. Day 4. This was our last day in Taiwan, so we decided to eat in a sit in restaurant. And there's one famous uh, restaurant in Taiwan called the uh, Modern Toilet. So this restaurant is not for all. If the guy is a sick nura, don't go here. But for us, theme restaurant is a once in a lifetime experience. Yes, we're weird. After we eat, we walk around and bought some pasalubong. We got those pineapple cake snacks. Mayroon siya dice, three sa Philippines, some keychains and nerf magnet. Um, to tell you in advance, uh, keychains and nerf magnet are, for me, is expensive. It's 150, 200, and if it's a nice one, it's 300 pesos. It's not like in other countries, not just like a set of 10, and it's already 400. There, it's really um, single pieces. So the total of the pasalubong was 3,500 and we divided it into two so 1750 per person now let's sum it all up our total per person in this taiwan trip was 24,342 and 86 cents 
yes it is more than the tour packages that is offered in our country uh, there are tour packages that are like 15,000 20,000 but mostly I can see like 18 to 19,000 tour packages that's already enough me and my sister went to a province but if you remove that expense and you will just do it in Taiwan just like Yu Yu Jiu Park uh, the zoo you will go to all of the museums other places that is within Taipei or new Taipei area 24,000 or less is already enough so is Taiwan cheap affordable or expensive I can say it's affordable now important things to remember if you go to Taiwan convert all of your cash here in the Philippines in Taiwan there is no money changer the government does not allow that only banks can do it especially the Bank of Taiwan and they're open only on banking hours and they only accept major currency Philippine is not one of them next video payroll ATM works but my sister's Metro Bank did not work I don't know what happened in it maybe there was a restriction on the payroll system but that's a personal experience if you go to provinces in Taiwan, most local don't speak English, so don't be offended if they will not serve you or no one will help you if you ask the question. Uh, they're just scared also. They don't speak English and they might just not be able to help you. And I think that our big challenge too is, since we are foreigners, riding or hailing a cab, but if you are able to converse in a different way, like sign language and point system, then do it. Point system means point and point to look, look back. But you don't have to worry because uh, most tourist spots, like the, there are a lot of locals that can speak English. So if you decided that you will only do the Taipei and New Taipei tours, then it's fine. You can speak English. Uh, some locals selling uh, pasalubong and giving you samples in Shimindang, they can speak English. You need to research a lot if you're gonna do the tour on your own and you need to be physically and mentally prepared in the map Taiwan is very very small but when you start traveling it from one province to another province you will be shocked that it will take you two to three hours one to one and a half hour to go from point A to point B like their tourist spots are not close to each other that's quite challenging if you are doing it on your own now if you're not comfortable with that uh, go to Klook, go to KK Day, or go to any agency that offers Taiwan tour because it's easy you will just have to sit on the bus and wait for your next destination I think that's it so yes Taiwan is affordable Taiwan extend their visa free until July 2020 because of this coronavirus traveling this year is impossible as of now since we are all at home you can do some research or you can use this video so that you will have a guide on how much you should save on your future travel to Taiwan I will be making two more videos similar to this I hope you will support me if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you've been here thank you so much for watching and supporting me again that's all for today bye bye